Good morning. Hope I'm not intruding. I brought you something as thanks for saving me. I, I know, but saying thank you just didn't feel like enough. Not when you saved my life. May I come in? Thank you. There's also been something I've wanted to tell you. Goodness. You're injured. What do you mean? It's nothing. You're bleeding right through your clothes. What do you mean you're old so you were injured? Why didn't you tell me when I asked? Goodness. Sit down, please. I can't believe you've been injured for two days. I need to clean these wounds and patch them. That's not the bathroom. I've got it. No, I have to clean the wounds. I can't just bandage them like this. I know it's going to hurt, but I have to. If I don't, they could get infected and you'll die. I can't let that happen. Here, you can hold my hand, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to be as fast, yet gentle, as I can be. Mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. <sighs> there we go. See? You were able to pull through. Uh, and you've got a very firm grip. Ow. <laughs> No, 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 don't apologise. It's okay. Now, this next part shouldn't really hurt. But be prepared. Just in case it does. Sorry for suddenly charging through your house and taking your med kit like that. Reflexes really got a hold of me there. Well, my younger sister tended to get herself into a lot of trouble, so I usually had to patch her up. So I've gotten kind of used to doing this sort of thing. She always wanted to become a warrior. No matter what type just as long as she could make a living out of helping others. It's kind of funny how the roles have been reversed. I used to be the one that had to be brave to get my sister and patch her up while she would be scared and calling for me. Now I'm the scared coward still living in the same place while well, my sister is out there realising her dream. Probably fighting some new evil every day. N no, you don't have to lie to make me feel better. I know that I'm a coward. Really? You really think I'm brave and strong? Yes. 
I was always scared whenever I had to help my sister. Well, of course I still helped her. She needed me. Oh, I see what you're trying to say now. Thank you. No one has ever said something like that to me before. Huh? Oh, yeah, you're right. What I wanted to tell you... Well, that, that can wait for a bit. First, I want to show you what I brought. I thought I'll thank you by baking a cake. You like it? Oh, I wasn't sure what type of cake to make, so that's a relief. If you want, I could get a plate and fork for you. Well, you're still injured, so you should keep movement to a minimum. I'll just get it quickly. Oh, that. Well, what I wanted to tell you wasn't that important anyways. Uh, I, well, all right, if you insist. Uh, it wasn't a coincidence that I was there the day you rescued me. I was watching your fight. I just didn't expect one of them to suddenly show up behind me. I've... caught feelings for you and wanted to ask you out for a date. But then I could never muster up the courage. So I just watched you from afar whenever you were in town. That fight was the first time I dared to follow you out of town. And we both know how well that worked out for me. I hoped to ask you out today. But then I saw you were injured and I felt too guilty. No, no, it's my fault. By being there, I probably just made the fight harder for you. So I'll understand. If you want me to leave and never talk to you again, I... Huh? You want to go out with me? Really? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you for giving me a chance. I promise I'll make the date the best it can be. Once you're recovered, we can go wherever you want. Today? But you shouldn't be moving about. I suppose you're right. There's nothing stopping us from having a date here. Yeah, a date with cake. <laughs>